Hi guys and welcome to another video from me. Now the other day I showed you how to use the Headliner app on your mobile device and today I'm going to show you how to use a, a basic but also quite powerful Photoshop tool and it is in fact part of the Adobe Photoshop. It's their app that you can get on the Play Store. I think it's also available on iOS and I think it's actually pretty good in terms of what it can do for you and certainly if you're a youtuber for example and you like to have you know when they have their their portrait or their face cut out and stuck onto the uh, the image of the thumbnail this is something that you can actually do with this particular photoshop so it's this one here the adobe photoshop mix and this is quite a good one as i said before it doesn't have a lot of functionality in terms of a variety of things you can do but it does do one thing pretty good and that is something like this now this is what something that i did just as a test um, when I was learning how to use it so basically I've got my thumbnail behind me and then on top of me I've got a cutout of my face that I was going to put on here as well now of course with this if you look at it you've got um, I'm looking the wrong way so it's completely not looking at the right thing at all it's, it's completely the wrong way around so what I can do is I can adjust it in terms of what I can do with it not in, t not in that one I should say it's a different one I'm not going to um, I can change how it looks so i can go into it i can change the color of it i can uh, move it around i can do it black and white if i want to i can change what uh, what color whether it's bright lighter or darker if you don't want to do the presets you can adjust it yourself so you've got all things here you can do saturation i know that some uh, youtubers like to have high saturation on their photos you can pump up the saturation you can uh, do things with the shadows to make it make the shadows stand out more you can do things with the highlights to make the highlights a bit more. There's loads of adjustments that you can make to this once you've got the the basics of it together. And then, of course, as I said before, you can move it around. You can uh, double tap it and make it bigger. And make, you can shrink it down. You can rotate it if you want to, even things like this. So it's quite good in that respect because you can have both of them independently. So you can move them to wherever you might want it to look at at the time. Now, there are other things that you can do with this as well which I'm going to show you so you can you can crop this whole thing down so I can crop all of this down to a smaller size but if I click on part of it as well so if I was to go first go I don't know if I can do it from this one in particular but if I can go into this one and go into crop I don't know if I can do it from here but you can flip the whole image so if you had a picture of yourself on here you can flip it backwards and forwards so if I was had this picture of me on my own I could flip it backwards and forwards so if it was if it was that way around I, and I didn't want it to be looking that direction I can flip it and as long as I'm wearing a t-shirt that isn't going to be too obviously back to front then uh, you can do that and it looks really good you can also set it to certain sizes so that you know what it looks like I can do 4.3 if I want to see how how good it looks on there and maybe crop it down a bit further if I wanted to do that but let's go from the beginning and try a new one a new composition so when you click on the actually get various things you can get an image from you can get it from the creative cloud from lightroom from cc library itself a camera or on the device itself i'm going to take a picture i'm going to use the camera I'll use my camera just this once i'm going to take a picture of something how about i'll just take a picture of this this my pencil sharpener okay so i've got a picture of that now a bit blurry but never mind just testing purposes so now i've got this image here what i can do is i can cut it out so if I click on the cutout button I then get a few options here so I can have it to a certain feather like so I can feather the edges of the cutout I can get it to do auto where it will look at the image and automatically change it but the problem there is the uh, it isn't really that accurate in terms of what it can do so you do need to adjust it a little bit more so you might need to go in and just move over your finger over it a little bit on the areas it's missing to try and uh, encompass them obviously you're going to have to have, you're going to have more time than i will doing this but there's another way that you can do it. if you click on the little circle there you get basic selection and smart selection now smart selection is pretty good if you've got a contrast obviously this is quite um dark and it's a uniform color so it's hard for the software to guess where the edges are but if you're using the basic selection then essentially what you can do is just use your finger to rub over the area that you want to cut out and then what you'll do is it can you can be a lot more precise with it and if it's an, an image like this which is difficult to get the the best outline or best edges from it then you can just 
do your best to get the image in the right place and to cut it all out in the right way. Now I'm going to do this quite roughly because obviously we're, uh, we're recording this, I'm not going to take too much time doing it, so I'm just going to roughly go over it to get as much of it as I can, like that. So now we've got kind of, kind of most of it is in there, like that, it's in a bit off, but never mind. So then if we, if we accept that, it then becomes the cut out image itself, so there it is. And then if that was your face, for example, you could then put that onto another layer so you can add another layer, another picture, and you can put it on top. So if I was to add, for example, um, another camera, take another picture. So if I was to uh, take a picture of my keyboard, which I've got here, oh, that looks dirty. <laughs> and I say, okay, to that, I then have two layers. So I've got this top layer and I have the bottom layer. So if I was to drag this on top of here, I've then got that sitting on top of my top layer and I can move it around and I can place it wherever I want it. I can make it smaller by pinching to, to zoom. I can make it smaller, I can move it up and down all over wherever I want on this picture I want it to be. And I can move it, position it wherever I want it to be. So if that was your face, you could put that anywhere on your thumbnail and have it looking whatever you wanted to look at. I think it's quite a good software. I know there are other software out there that do similar things, but I think this is actually quite good and you can do lots of adjustments to it. You crop it down, you can cut it out, you can blend these things in together. It does work really well. So if I do blend, for example, I can do a lighten, I can do a screen, I can do a darken, I can multiply it. It's, it's kind of, it's, not all of these things are going to work very well with this picture that I've got here. But obviously, if you've got a different type of picture, then you can obviously fade it in and out. So you can have like maybe little uh, background images or maybe a watermark or something if you want to put that on there. And then you can share it. You can share it out to all of the places you want it to go to. You can add another layer. If you wanted to, so you can add another layer on top of that or underneath it. You can drag the layers around. So I've got that. So I've got underneath that picture now. Now it's over the top. There's quite a lot of functionality involved in this. And I think it's quite good in terms of what it can do. It is a bit basic, but if you're wanting something specific like that, I think it does work really well. It does mix pictures together quite well indeed. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. I'm going to be doing more mobile apps and things like that in the future. If there's a particular app that you want to see, uh, you want to see a review of then please let me know and I will do my best to do a review of it as well I'm also going to be doing some Windows 10 stuff and some Chromebook stuff as well and some other how to's and tutorials so stay tuned for them if you liked this video please like it please subscribe it really does help the channel a great deal if you can do that and uh, until the next time thank you very much for joining goodbye